A huge variety of shellfish and seafood for an irresistible dish that smells of summer. It's the seafood salad. How to prepare it? It's a piece of cake. Follow me in the kitchen. For this recipe, I chose to use only fresh ingredients because frozen one might be stale. Now let's immediately move on to cooking the octopus. In this pot filled with water, I'll pour the celery mashed and cut into pieces. The carrots, that I have already cleaned and cut. A nice spring of parsley. Bay leaves. Two pink peppercorns and two black peppercorns. Here the water has reached the boil. It means that I can place the octopus, but a little trick, I will curl the tentacles by dipping them for four or five times. See how they curl already? Obviously, I've already had my octopus cleaned by my fishmonger, but if you do not have one you trust, just go on Giallo Zafirano to discover all the tricks. Now cover it with a lid and let it cook at medium temperature for about 30-35 minutes. In the meantime, I can take care of mussels and clams. I'll put a drizzle of oil in a nice saucepan, then one clove of garlic. I'll let it flavor well, and as soon as the bottom of the pot becomes hot, I'll add mussels and clams. Both of them, you must always make sure that they are not open or broken, otherwise you must chuck them. Then the mussels must be cleaned by scraping off the barnacles and removing the bisses. The clams instead just need to be soaked in fresh and salt water. A bit like sea water, then just drained and rinsed. I immediately cover with the lid and let the valves open for about five minutes. The main thing is that every now and then we remember to give it a shake. Here they are. I drain them immediately to let them cool down. As soon as you see the garlic, take it out. Now I'm going to take mussels and clams out of their shells and to save a few for the final decoration. Once I cooked the octopus, I drained it and put it aside to cool down. In the meantime, I also filtered the cooking water, so I can now take care of cooking the squid that I've already cleaned and cut into rings of about 2 cm. They will cook in about 5-8 minutes. I recommend when you cook fish always keep an eye on it, otherwise the fish is likely to become gummy. One more minute to go until the end of the cooking, so I can dip the shrimps, for which I have removed the head, the tail, the shell, the black line. I let it cool down and meanwhile I take care of the octopus. I cut it into pieces of about a couple of centimeters. This is the tentacle. I'll keep whole because it is so beautiful. We put the octopus pieces inside the bowl with shrimp and calamari. And then I'll also add mussels and clams, only those without the shell. The only thing still missing is the dressing, a parsley citronette. I'll pour the juice of the filtered lemon in this bowl, the oil, one grind of salt and one of pepper. Finally, the chopped parsley. And I can emulsify it with a fork. Here it is ready. I'll pour it on the seafood salad. Give it a stir and I'm ready to serve this deliciousness. Seafood salad is a great classic to bet on without fail. A link down below the photo recipe on Giallo Zafirano, where you can find the ingredients of the doses, the procedure explained step by step. Did you like this video? Leave a nice like and if you have some questions to ask, write them in the comments.
If you haven't done it yet, run immediately to join the Giallo Zafirano channel to stay up to date with all the news. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and let me know.